Hello, good evening, Patricia. Good evening, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks God. How about you? Ah, uh, not, not, not good. Are you sick? Now in the afternoon, I um, start um, edema in my face. Okay. Then I have. Oh yes, I do. I do see it. Ah, por eso es que. Ay, me, sí. me pica. Ya tomé algo, pero creo que voy a mejorar en el transcurso de la noche. Es probable, quizás necesita reposo. Recuerde que pasa bien, bien ocupada. So, eso le estresa. Ayer reposé. Ajá. Ayer descansé todo el día. Bueno, sí, todo el día se puede decir. ¿Cómo siguió usted de, de la, de la malestar? Fíjese de que solo estoy esperando ya que me levanten la, la cuarentena, porque gracias a Dios ya solo me queda que no puedo leer nada, pero ya no tengo nada más fuerte, gracias a Dios. Vaya, qué bueno. Estas fiebres sí lo hacen dudar a uno de querer seguir aquí en, este vida, en esta vida. Sí, a mí me dio COVID en agosto del año pasado, mm. sin síntomas. Entonces, como no tenía síntomas, lo pasé trabajando. Me di cuenta hasta después, cuando me hicieron la prueba, que yo ya había mejorado de, de nada más, no sentía olor, olores. Pero me decían, como no tenés fiebre, como no tenés este gripe, no tenés nada de eso, no, eso no es COVID. Y como no teníamos cómo hacer las pruebas, luego las pruebas llegaron. Entonces, yo tuve el virus y pasé trabajando todo el, toda la, todo el tiempo, porque Ay. no lo detectamos a tiempo. Y lo no me creían. Usted es en físico. Usted le tocaba trabajar físico. Sí, sí, ahí, ajá. No, gracias a Dios, como estamos virtuales ahorita, pero igual yo pensaba que era una simple gripe, como ya les había dado a mis papás y todo. Pues una simple gripe. <risa> no, hombre, mi casa pero... me lleva. Pero cuando se, enfer se enferman y, y están así en clases virtuales, no tienen derecho a reposar y a no... no. ¿Cómo no? Pero yo soy uh, workaholic. No me gusta el red descansar. Oh, en los working. No puede ser. Yeah. Una mala paciente. Yeah, that's what my father says. Así dice mi papi. <risa> Pero ni modo, aquí estamos. Gracias a Dios ya mejor. Solo lo del, lo del olfato y ya yes. Let's see, my friend Ileana, how are you? <laughs> Hello, I'm very tired. I, I have a headache. Good evening. Oh. Ay, my God. Ileana, take us a Taminofen. Or Tylenol. Or Tylenol. I had a stressful day. Mm, mm. That's the reason why. Or yes. dos. Mire, <laughs> <laughs> Laura, por eso hasta ya se bañó y todo. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Yes. But it's good to see you, girls. It's good to see you Thank in class. You. Nice to see you too. Always attending, just writing time. It's perfect. I really, I really love teaching, and this group is pretty special when I'm teaching. So it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank Thank you. You. Let's see, Jancy. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Good to see you. All right, my dear students, let me share with you that for today. Thursday, September 16th, section five. We're gonna finish section five today. Tell me about your family and we are in class 14, right? Tomorrow, if, if we are able to, we're going to have a class number 15, right? So it's going to be pretty amazing. And let me know, let me see. <laughs> Do you remember? Now, as we have been like two days without classes, we need to check if we still remember. All right, so Eliana, 
present continuous is used for? Is you in the action is uh, now? Mm -hmm. When it's happening now. Now. Mm -hmm. Excellent, correct, okay. Ileana. <laughs> Como no lo veo tan convencido, Ileana. <laughs> All right, don't worry. That's why we are recalling. Para eso nos estamos recordando. Um, Patricia, the difference between simple present and simple continuous? In the simple present, um, we, we have I speak and the present continuous, I am speaking. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're changing the verb because the actions are changing, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about that, Laura? If you remember the difference between both tenses? Yeah, okay. And simple present, it's for habitual actions. Mm -hmm. And present continuous is for, for an action is happening right now. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly, very good. Just as you and Patricia mentioned, we have those uh, verbs established, right? We use, in simple present, we use the base form of the verb. We're not changing unless it's third person, right? But other than that, we're not changing. And in progressive, we are just adding ing. Now, uh, mention the structure for just no questions in present continuous, Jancy. Excuse me, teacher. Mention the structure for just no questions in present continuous. Uh, B. Uh, how do you say el más? Plus. Ah, oh, B plus subjects plus verb eh, entre paréntesis uh, A N G plus complement eh, plus eh, Signo de question. Interrogation mark. Interrogation. Uh, remember that you can say question mark or interrogation mark. Right? Excellent, Nancy. Thank you very much. It's good that you remember the structure. Remember that as per usual, the structures are useful to, um, to complete the tenses, right? To learn about the tenses and to learn how to use them. Now, just to recall, we're moving forward, but I just want you to recall double H question with present continuous. This is the structure. Laura, tell me the structure, please. WH plus B plus subject plus verb with ING plus complement plus question mark. Excellent. Very good. So there you have it. Now we are remembering, we are recalling. And we have these uh, scenarios. Let me see, Eliana, please. Number one, question and answer. Okay. What is Anna drinking? Mm -hmm. She is drinking soda. Excellent. Patricia, number two. <laughs> Sorry. Who are who are you waiting for? I am waiting for Eunice. Excellent. No sé si yes, <laughs> that's correct. Eunice. Oh. All right. Okay. Thank now, you. we have seen the structure. Of course, we remember this. <laughs> All right. Now let's work with this. Okay. We have these exercises. They are special because in these ones we are able to use either present simple or present continuous, right? Um, I asked the like work in 13, 
because I was missing the verb, ¿ok? Puse like aquí porque por equivocación corté la palabra like del ejercicio número 3, ¿correct? Right? Just for you to know. Okay, let's work on it. Remember that some of them uh, could be in simple present, all of them on others might be <coughs> continuous. Hi, Adriana, welcome. Hi, Miss. How are How you? Are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm fine too. You look uh, great. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We need complete, complete. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we're working on these exercises. Remember okay. that some of them are going to be in simple present and all other of them are going to be in present continuous. All right, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have any questions, you can ask me about a specific exercise, you can ask me. Me? Me? So, <laughs> ah, let's see, let's see. <laughs> no, uh, uh -huh, we'd love, okay. I have a, I have a, I have a question with the word has lip, has lip. What's the meaning of asleep? Uh -huh. Why? When you why are... not use sleep? Only sleep? No, it's also asleep. We okay. have two, two forms, asleep and asleep. Uh, okay, thank es you. Que asleep is como dormitado. Right, that's why it's different. Okay, miss, okay, miss. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh, Adriana? It's the same, the same question. Uh -huh. Laura. <laughs> what a coincidence. All right. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh, Kevin. Hello there. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. But I have uh -huh. a question for the about the exercise, the six, six uh -huh. person. Uh -huh. <laughs> so is present simple or present continuous? It's because actually present simple. 
but are your parents drinking much coffee? Okay, that's a good I, one. Uh -huh. And do your parents drink much coffee? No. Yes, you have two options in here. Remember that in this case, actually, number six, that was a tricky one. This is como una especie de trampa, we can say. All right? Because to answer that question, we need to know the, um, the content, right? The environment in which we are. If you are living uh, the present simple or if you are seeing any action right now, in that case, you are going to choose if it is progressive or present simple depending on your context. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Also catch up everyone in number nine, okay? That one is also going to be answered depending on your environment or context, right? Teacher, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand um, number 10. <laughs> mm, actually, oh. that one is in, in progressive. Ah, who is? Do you remember this part? Double H? Uh -huh. Yes. So but, no the, oh. but that that you um uh, mm. who are you 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 ah who are you Patricia <laughs> uh -huh. okay gracias <laughs> right. now everyone when I told you that in number six and in number nine is going to depend on your context. Think about this, for example, in number nine. If you are just right now about being served your meal, supongamos que están a punto de servir la comida a su amiga y a usted. What action are you going to use? Eating. Mm -hmm. Exactly, eating. But if in another context we think maybe we are talking before eating, so that my context change. That's why my question is going to change, all right? Instead of using progressive, I can use present simple, we do or does. In negative, of course, right? Because we have the not, okay? Por eso les pongo los dos contextos. Tenemos dos contextos para number six y number nine. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, for the ones that are just getting into the class, we are completing these exercises with present simple or present continuous. And this word that you see over here, like, um, we are using it as a verb in 13, right? Lo que pasa es que corté mal el documento y por eso la tuve que poner aparte la palabra like, all right? Pero es parte de la oración o la question 13. <clears throat> you finished, Patricia. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that you finished. Excellent. Finish, Miss. Excellent, very good. You can take, uh, Patricia and Laura, your short mental break, all right? Because you already worked. One more minute and we're going to start sharing. Finish. Excellent, very good. All right, we can start now. Let's see, we have number one. I'm going to ask Adriana, please tell me number one. 
What do you have for number one? Play. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's an action happening right now. Playing. Uh -huh. Pero solo, listen, somebody playing? Oh, what am I missing? Mm -hmm. He's playing the violin. Violin, excellent. Very really good, Adriana. Thank you. Listen, somebody's playing the violin, right? Something that is happening right now. Number two. Let me check. Um, let's see, Patricia. <clears throat> How often do you go to the cinema? Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. We are asking about not a habitual uh, routine, but it's an action that we usually do, right? Going to the cinema. How often do you go to the cinema? Excellent, very good. Okay. Let's go with number three. Um, Jansi. Mm -hmm. Number three, why is G is you showing at me now? Okay, uh, very good, Jancy, because it is in present continuous, but the verb to be is not correct. Oh, show. El verbo en continuo lo tiene bien. Show, shouting. But your sure. word is not correct because you told me why is you, mm, and that's not correct. Ah, see, sí, see, sí. why, why, mm, mm, why are you? Exactly. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Jancy. Why are you shouting at me? Right? An action that is happening now. I love when we're doing this type of analysis, everyone, because grammar is not just about eh, because that's the way it is. No. Sometimes we have we do have analysis for these types of sentences or questions. Number four. Let me see. Eh, Mari Vanegas. What do you have for number four? If not, let's see. Uh, Laura, can you please help me with number four? Okay, number four is shh, the baby's falling asleep. Excellent, very good. The baby's falling asleep. Excellent. That's correct. Number five, Ileana, what do you have for number five? Number five, do you know who am I? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, very good. Thank you. Remember that I told you uh, like two classes ago or one class ago that we have learned that in questions with B, we say, am I, instead of I am, right? But I told you that in some TV shows or movies and, th and stuff like that, they say, I am right, in questions. This is a clear example, example, right? So that you're not being like, what? <laughs> I didn't see this in my English class, all right? Now you're learning. Excellent. Let me go with number six, Kevin. Are your parents drinking much coffee? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So your contents, it's happening right now. Indeed, let me go with Adriana, number seven. La revancha. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Y what's the name? Look the boys. They playing. 
They play in football. Mm -hmm. They play in, or oh, I'm going to use a verb to be in plural. Because I'm talking about the boys. Si ya tengo the boys, que es mi subject en plural, in plural. So, ¿qué verbo tú puedo utilizar? Ah. I forget in this moment. <laughs> Let's see. Is, it's for singular. And then I have... There. 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 Mm, verbo to be. Remember that verb to be, we only have three. Am, are, is. Are. Look the look the boys are playing football. Excellent, thank you, Adrianita. I know you're tired, but you gotta yes. keep pushing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Let me go with number eight. <clears throat> Let me see, Patricia, number eight. Okay. Quick. They are not looking. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They are not looking. Very good. Number nine, uh, Ileana. Let's see what context did you pick. Um, my best friend doesn't eat meat. She's a vegetarian. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. And you know why is it good? Está muy bien el contexto que usted eligió. Simple present. Como les dije, pueden ser either or, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de los dos en esa específicamente. Puede ser que usted solamente esté conversando acerca de su amiga con alguien más. All right? So that's why you're saying, oh, no, my best friend doesn't eat me. Right? And that's correct. There's no problem with it. Let's see. Um, Laura, number 10, please. Who are you talking to now? Exactly, very good, that's correct. Uh, Jansi, number 11. Jansi, your microphone. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Um, how do you say S A A that that washing the nail? Uh, that, uh -huh, that washing the nails the the nails. <laughs> Uh, um, he he watching the news. But that is for a man. That is padre. Estamos en el análisis. No la voy a dejar irse así de fácil porque ya estamos en las últimas clases y quiero que esto quede bien claro, right? Verb to be, you think? We only have three verb to be, right? We have is, are, um. That is, is the watching the new. Exactly, very good, very good. That is watching the news. Excellent, thank you, Jancy. Kevin, uh, 12, please. Where are you leaving? Mm -hmm. Exactly, where are you leaving? And let me see. Bueno, Adriana, ya no le voy a preguntar porque se va a enojar. <laughs> Let's see, Nestor. 13. No. Jocelyn, yo. Ah, Nestor, there you are. Sería aquí, like it. The last one to like it, dark chocolate. Yes, eh, light le pertenece a 13. Pertenece a la única, en la última, pero quiero ver qué estructura utilizó usted. 
Present simple or present continuous? Continuous is the like it. Mm, okay. We'll see. Thank you, Nestor. Let's see if somebody else want to tell me the answer for 13. Teacher. Okay. Tell me, Kenny. Does Sue like dark chocolate? Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, you see, everyone, remember that context influences a lot in which in which tense are we going to use and these types of exercises are useful to realize when are we are going to develop each of these tenses so i'm proud of you all of you did a great job excellent now let's move on Teacher. yes can, uh, can you repeat the solution about the night exercise what number nine Nine. Nine. Ah. Please. My Ileana said, my best friend doesn't eat meat. She's a no. vegetarian. I I can say don't. No. But my best friend is third person singular. It's the equivalent for she. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. <coughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, remember, I'm going to say this quickly. For third person singular questions using do or does, we are going to use does for third person singular. Which are the third person singular, Laura? She, he, and it. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right. Excellent, everyone. Now, we can move forward using quantifiers. We have a conversation. I'm going to have Laura, you are Marcos, and Patricia, you are Meili. Action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even true, but it's a good reason. <laughs> it is a good it's reason. It's a good reason. Eso no pasa en la vida real. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, excellent. No, 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 it's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, very good job. We are improving quite a lot in this speaking. Kevin, you are Marcus. Let me look for a Ileana. You are mainly action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Excellent, thank you. Very good, both of you. Now, before Adriana falls asleep, <laughs> okay, let's see, Adriana. You are a Meili and Nestor, you are Marcus. Action. Uh, perdón, yo sería Mike, Marcos. Yes, you're Marcos. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have, Maylee? Maylee? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. 
most families in China have only one child. How do oh, I died. I, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because you will get a lot of bearded present. Excellent. Thank you very much, both of you. We're doing pretty good. Excellent. We're moving forward. And I'm going to get Jancy, you are Maylee, and Jocelyn, you are Marcus. Action. Uh, how many brother, how many brother and sister do you have, Maylee? Maylee, Jancy. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Don't worry. Action. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have? Mainly. Actually, I am only chill. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one chill. No what? No uh, days. No what days? I did not know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller, smaller mm -hmm. this, these days, but big families are great because you get lots of Birdai present. Excellent. Thank you, Jocelyn and Jancy. Very good job. Jancy, repeat after me. Actually. 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 Child. Uh, excuse me? Child. Ch child. No, child. Child. Ch child. Mm -hmm. Child, child, child. Thank you. And yeah. child. Let me see. I'm going to have Aya. Ah, yeah. Mary Vanegas, you are Marcus, and Veronica, you are Meili. Action. How many brother and sister do you have, Meili? Actually, um, I'm only share. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child, no with dates. I think you know that. What about, uh, what about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. Go, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of my family are smaller. This is the but big family are great because you get a lot of winter present. All right. Thank you, Mary and Veronica. Thank you for your effort. And now I'm going to say everyone something very good. I've noticed that you have a improved a lot, and that's great. You're speaking has been improving constantly and I'm happy for that. Just don't forget that when we are reading the same way as in Spanish, we need to give the position to the punctuation marks, right? The same way as in Spanish, we don't read everything like running or from once. We are going with punctuation marks. The same way applies for English. Even if you want to tell me it means, but it's because we're learning. Yes, but you need to learn how to recognize punctuation marks. Those are important. If not, even if you're uh, pronouncing well and everything, 
if we are missing the punctuation marks, our reading won't make sense, all right? The same way as in Spanish. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Let's go with quantifiers, information. Um, Kevin, can you please read this information? Quantifiers, when we are not sure, or we don't know the percentage of something, we use quantify. Excellent, thank you. So if I'm not sure about a specific amount of something, I'm going to use quantifiers. Those are my way out, right? <laughs> and they are really useful. Now, let me move on. Let's see, we have quantifiers. We have 100 or 100, if you want to say it, it's okay. We have both options. And we have zero, right? Zero, which means barely something, right? Now, we have, listen carefully to my pronunciation. We have all, nearly all, must, Many, a lot of, a lot of, some, some, not many, not many, a few, a few, few, no one, okay? And then you have, we have three, we have three quantifiers for each of these information signs. For example, with all, nearly all, and most, I can use families have only one child, right? I can use either of these three options. If I want to say families are smaller these days, I can use many, a lot of, and some. If I want to express Couples have more than one child. I can use not many, a few, or few. If there's no percentage at all, and I want to express this information, gets married before the age of 18? No. That's going to be my specific quantifier. Now, before practicing the pronunciation, I will have Ileana. Can you please read this information? If if you want to make reference to a one hundred percentage, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can see. Ah, oh, you can see. Let me. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. If you want to make reference to a one hundred percentage, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending of the percentage that you need to use. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Eliana, very good. Yeah. So yeah, if I want to give my 100% percent, I'm going to use all. But you're going to consider if you want to go down, you're going to go down with the scale. Now let's practice pronunciation. Okay, I'm going to start with Laura. Can you please help me with the vocabulary, Laura? Yes. Quantifiers. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. Adriana, please. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. Nestor, please. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, no many, a few, few, 
No one. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Patricia, please. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. Jancy, your turn. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me the vocabulary. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. Mary, please. All, nearly of, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. Veronica, please. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, no one. And let's go with Jocelyn. Okay, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, please, Ileana. Okay. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Excellent. Very good, everyone. Very good job. Excellent. Now, in pronunciation, we are doing great. Now, let me tell you this. We are not so able to translate all of them because remember, they are used in different, uh, both, uh, they are used in different languages and also we are using them depending on our context. But for you to have another idea of the meaning of each of them, Let's work with these guiding examples, okay? These are my guiding examples. I have the quantifier and I have the plural noun. I'm gonna show you more information about this later. But right now I have four sentences. Uh, Jocelyn, please read sentence number one. Uh, nearly all men were from home. <laughs> okay, excellent. Don't worry. Nearly all men work from home. Laura, number two. Number two. My sister has many friends. Excellent. Thank you. And let me see. Adriana, number three, please. A lot of teenagers. A lot of teenagers are having COVID lately. lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, thank you, Adriana. And the last one, I'm going to have a Mary, number four, please. I like a few thinking about your friend. Okay, repeat after me, Mary, thinks. Think. Thinks. Think. Think. Si tuviera la K, es think. Yeah. G, thanks, all right? Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Mary. All right, everyone, copy these examples if you want on your notebook so you do have a reference. Miss, mm -hmm. in the number three, what is the meaning in Spanish? Would you say are having COVID lately? Lately, lately it's ultimamente. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Late. You're welcome. 
All right. And if you hear any noise about salsa music around here <laughs> or pachanga music, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, like December music, it's not in my house, all right? It's outside of my house. <laughs> this is for you just to, to know. Now, if you already finished, let's move, let's move on. Remember, Patricia, please give me the honors. Uh, remember, uh, plural nouns, people, place, countries, books, dresses, things, times, years, friends. All right, thank you. Patricia, place or places? Places. Mm -hmm. Excellent, really good, really good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, just to finish it up, let me show you this. I got this information and I think it's pretty important. Let's see, I'm going to have a... Jancy, can you please read this chart, the green chart? Take. Take. No, understand, teacher. Read. I need you to read. Okay. Take into consideration that all quantifier come before the plural knows. No. Now. No. Thank you. Let's see, uh, Laura, read the blue chart. We have no quantifier that comes before the verb no one. Sample number one, no one works more than 10 hours per day. In number two, no one thinks about global warming nowadays. Is it true, Laura? <laughs> We're still thinking about global warming. And maybe no one, but a few people, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a few there are people things. think about it. A few, exactly. <laughs> but in this case, I was using that context, right? That for as an example. So copy this on your notebooks, and we're going to finish in here. Just copy this, all right? These are important aspects that you need to take into consideration when using quantifiers. All right, my dear students, that was it pretty much for today's class. It was a pleasure to have you. Don't uh, forget that tomorrow we got another class and thank you for your comprehension and everything. So I will see you tomorrow, all right? If you have questions or doubts about any exercise, you can totally let me know, all right? I'm gonna help you. And also tomorrow we are going to start developing the midterm exam. Okay, so I know that some of you already finished and congratulations to you, but some others, they are not finished, right? They haven't finished. So we're gonna help them, right? All right, everyone, have a great night. See you tomorrow. Take care, Miss. Thank you, Miss. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.